Um, this video is all about uh, how to play the chain by Fleetwood Mac. It's a response to a video that I put up um, a little bit earlier, uh, which was just the, the just the cover of the song, uh, the audio with no explanation. And somebody quite rightly pointed out uh, that it would be much better uh, for me to show how I used the mode decoder to be able to play the song um, and use it um, as an alternative to looking up the tabs and looking up the fingering for the particular song and to just get a quick satisfying uh, playing along or a cover uh, of a song. Um, so this is how I did that. So the first thing I needed to find out was um, the key of the song uh, and um, I, I, I found this just by um, sort of instinctively now because I've been using the mode decoder so often um, I can just uh, usually find out what key it is where, where the pattern fits in but if you uh, want to do the same thing um, it's usually most songs you'll be able to find that information out by googling um, and if not uh, this, the next best way with the mode decoder is to find all the chords uh, that are in that song um, and see um, where they fit as you turn the wheel here and that will show you um, the key that it's most probably in. There may be two or three key modes or keys that the chords might fit in um, so you might need to experiment with seeing which one it actually is. Um, so we'll take it for granted that we now know our um, key uh, and in the case of the chain uh, the key is in E minor so to set the mode decoder to the key of E minor all we do is turn the wheel so that E appears in the Aeolian window and there we have it so that's E in the Aeolian which is the natural minor so we're in E minor E in the Aeolian window all set. So this shows us all the chords that are, appear in the song, all chords that we can play to play uh, to find to, to play along to you know to, to match up as we play um, and variations as well so you can you can do variations if you want. Um, Secondly, it shows us the three locations on the neck where you can play notes on the backbone of the minor pentatonic scale, which hopefully you know, uh, and all those notes will be in the song. And that means basically that you'll be able to pick out the melody in the same way that you can pick out a melody if something's in C major and you have a piano, you can pick out the melody on the white keys. Um, this, this gives you the same, uh, uh, the type, same type of thing. So we have three locations for E minor. Location one is on the 12th fret, the E string is, is your open string, or the 12th string. Location two is the, the A, which is the 5th fret. And location three is two frets up, the B. Now I found as I've been using this that although we're very familiar normally playing in location one, which is our normal minor pentatonic shape sounding, actually positions two and three for me um, are much more useful because they're so near each other. You can move from the two they both contain the minor pentatonic shapes, but if you also learn um, the, the extra notes, the grey notes, which are the other two notes in the scale, then you can use position two and three to really pick out the melody. And I found with most songs that along these middle strings in position two and three, you can, you f you can usually find the melody very, very simply from most songs I've come across, certainly in the minor key uh, and also the major key. Most pop songs, most rock songs, um, it's a sort of magic place um, to, 
to anchor yourself for location two and three. So that's that's one, two and three. So the notes that are available um, are sort of span from about here from when we've got the in that minor pentatonic shape down to about about, about here which is one down from uh, the second shape which, which is based on the same shape on, on location two so you've got those there and then you've got the additional notes um, so that you can fill in Sort of run together when you when you when you do them. So when you do that sort of thing, all those are using the minor pentatonic shape with, and you'll really quickly learn where you know that those two extra notes live in order for you to, to be able to play um, along. So I think there's about two octaves worth of notes there. So you can usually find the melody for any song in that mix there. So it's simply a case of learning those extra notes on the backbone of the minor pentatonic. And once you've done that, you're away. So for the um, for the chain, returning to the chain now, uh, it's in E minor. So that's the bass, normally the E minor that we know. And also, if you notice up here, E minor, our root uh, chord and note is actually in our location three here. It's, it uses parts of the minor pentatonic shape here. And also parts of this one. Is So that's an important note, and it's just part of the minor pe pentatonic in location two. And together, start off with your minor E minor pentatonic, uh, E minor chord. So, at the beginning, we have um, an interesting little uh, E minor variation. Uh, and it's, I've noticed in the tabs it's played in a very strange way down here with a very unusual sort of picking. It's very difficult to learn, I, f I found it very difficult to learn anyway. But I found out that just using the, the, the third location here um, and, and the notes that we have um, that actually um, so those notes just fall into place. And all I'm doing is, on the minor pentatonic shape, I'm just pressing that one down, and then I'm picking. And once those notes are in the uh, the, the start of the song, the song you might recognise them. And you can add, knowing that there are other notes, you can embellish them. It's not about sticking rigidly to a copy of the song, it's doing your own thing and making it sound like your version of it, I guess. So that's the beginning. And then we have some sort of it's fall down like that. And again, that's just using the notes that you should should know. So that's part of the second location minor pentatonic. Again, okay, 
again, it's like pressing the white keys on the on the on the piano, and mostly sounding fine. And you can, as with practice, you can use your ear to be able to. Um, fill in the bits. Um, so in this song we are located, we're, we're anchored in positions two and three, uh, not, and we don't forget about position one either, which is also down here. So the next thing is the melody I think, so uh, let me just, I'll just play the start again so you can hear. Put it at the start so you can hear that E bit at the beginning. That's on the E. The next part is where I play the melody instead of the voice, the singing. Um, I'm going to play the melody uh, using notes. And they're all going to be, as I said, based on location two and location three. So if you can picture those notes, superimpose those notes onto your guitar neck um, and know that they're the ones that you can play. Between all those notes, where you can play all you have to do is find the one, that's your first note. So on position three it's, or we can find it somewhere else. So either of those ones would do, and you just go up until you find it. So you now know where you are. And then using your ear, whether a note is higher or lower, now, I've obviously done that a few times so I know where those notes are but basically you, you've got a limited choice then of notes that are available you know the notes that you can play um, and you know the shapes that are there and you know if the note is higher or lower or a good bit higher or a good bit lower and you make can make a good educated guess as to where, where it might be So that's all based again on this minor pentatonic shape with the extra extra notes in. So you notice now that I'm going I'm going from this is in this minor pentatonic. But I'm shifting it down to location two um, to find those extra notes. This one. Still in the second one, and then I'm just finding that note. Going back to position one. So I'm hoping that doesn't sound too complicated, um, because once you visualise and picture these notes in these locations, one as well, one, two, and three. Um, they're all notes that can be played and, and they are basically like just a run of up and down notes that you can find your melody in there. So let's, let's just play a little bit of that. to this one. Now this is a blue, 
location. Location three still. Okay, so that was the next bit. And again, I'm doing exactly the same thing. We have this, and these are all notes of. So then to find the next bit. Well, this note is just part of. So I'm just picking out by ear the melody. I know I'm not going to hit a wrong note because I've learned where all those notes are. So I'm not going to have the problem of, of hitting that note and thinking, ah, sounds terrible. I might hit a note that's... that's uh, not the one that's in the song, but it's not wrong. Um, and it won't sound, it won't jar. So when you do that, a few practices later, you should be able to uh, pick up uh, that melody line as well. So but we now have that. That's the first phrase, and then and you know again, like I said, this is just in the minor pentatonic shape. That's part of the third location minor pentatonic shape. And that's part of the lower. So I know this note, I've been playing that one. It becomes almost like whistling in the end, where you know the note that you want and can play. Um, and then I'm bending this one up to, to this note. And again, this note, that's just part of the minor pentatonic. So that's another one of your white notes on the piano keyboard that you can play. based on E minor, which we're in. And then for the the nice bit of the chain, where we goes to an A, and you can see that we have an A minor. I think it's an A fifth they play, so it's just like a power chord. It is actually an A minor. That, all those notes this one is in actually in location one so you can see it's that one do 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 put a note there so it's just playing those finding the finding the melody in those notes and that's exactly what that is play that one, and I can play that one, and that one, and that one, but not that one, because they're all notes that follow from the minor pentatonic and the additional two notes of the full minor scale. Okay, so that's that famous bit at the end that we have there that the bass line also follows. Uh, and then the fun bit, um, 
which is the very, very simple but effective um, guitar solo uh, that you have on the top of this. And it's in fact that same note that I've been playing in location three. It's that one. And then the cool bit, the brilliant bit, is when you basically, you just take this note and you go an octave up on the same string. So if you see that this is on the one, two, three, fourth dot there, we have one, two, three, fourth dot there. So you just go. And if you remember from the melody, this note was also quite significant. And, and these two together are often quite played, played a lot. And that's incorporated into that solo when you go. And then so what I was doing there I was just following because we have another location three up here just one octave up and then all the same notes that's why it becomes second nature I'll play it down here In fact, I'm doing the same thing I was doing in that melody. Bending up to this note here. And then you can just solo away. the same notes up and down you know use your own style use your ear uh, and you know uh, stick to the locations and you just can't go wrong and you just sound great um, so that's uh, that's how uh, I used the mode decoder to be able to cover and to play um, along to the chain uh, by Fleetwood Mac Let's play a good bit.